Good morning, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, morning headlines on August 3, 2023. Lori Vallow smirks in new mugshot as she starts life terms in Idaho prison, latest. The independent, doomsday mom Lori Vallow gets life in prison for murdering her children, ITV News. ITV News, Lori Vallow Daybell's husbands, taking a closer look at the men who married Doomsday Mother. Pink Villa, Lori Vallow's sister says Shush has been delusional for years. The Independent, cult mom Lori Vallow smirks in new mugshot after being sentenced to life in prison for killing her kids in Ida. Heatwave sees hundreds fall ill at World Scout Jamboree in South Korea. The Guardian, Hitchin Scouts head to South Korea for World Jamboree. The Comet, 83 attendees at the World Scout Jamboree treated for heat-related illnesses in South Korea. The Independent, safety concerns mount for scout gathering amid South Korea heatwave. Reuters, scouts from Derbyshire embark on a 6,000-mile trip to South Korea for a once-in-a-lifetime adventure. High-level Isle of Man drug dealer sentenced to 20 years in prison. Obama has warned Biden of Trump's strength with GOP, report says. The Independent, Obama promises Biden he will do all he can to get him re-elected. The Washington Post, Biden seeks Obama's help for 2024 re-election bid against Trump. Amazon deforestation falls over 60% compared with last July, says Brazilian minister. QAnon shaman tells Sky News Donald Trump charges over January 6th riot may backfire on prosecutors. If Russia wins its humanity's worst-case scenario, says Ukraine's Olena Zelenska. The Independent, worst-case scenario for humanity will be, Ukraine's first lady on Russia war. Hindustan Times, who is Ukraine's first lady Olena Zelenska and what charity work does she carry out? The Independent, Ukraine war latest, first lady issues sobering warning in rare interview. The Independent, Ukrainian first lady issues sobering warning in rare interview, live. DC police say no active shooter found at Senate office after lockdown. The Independent, Washington, D.C. active shooter alert as Senate office buildings put on lockdown by cops. Daily record, searches on at U.S. Senate buildings after reports of active shooter. NDTV, watch view of Capitol Hill after police say no active shooter found. The Independent, no active shooter at U.S. Capitol, police call it backquote bad call backquote. Russia-Ukraine war live. Russia, deliberately using food as a weapon, says EU, massive, drone attack on Kyiv. Brazil police raids, dozens of people killed amid crackdown on gangs and drug traffickers. Sky News, Brazil police raids leave at least 45 people dead. BBC, police raid in Rio Favela sets off gun battle that kills nine people and wounds two officers. The Independent, dozens dead as police carry out raids in Brazil amid crackdown on criminals. Evening Standard, Brazil, at least 45 killed in string of police operations in three states. Chinese sun bear waves in new footage as expert says animals aren't humans in costumes. The Independent, sun bear in China Zoo sparks online debate. NBC News, watch, bear accused of being human in disguise waves at zoo goers. The Telegraph, Chinese zoo denies its sun bears are people in costume. The Independent, new video fuels debate over whether Waving Bear is really human in disguise, latest from ITV News. Who is Tanya Chutkin, the hardline judge on Trump's election case? UK aid budget cuts are, death sentence, for world's most vulnerable children. The Guardian, UK foreign aid, thousands of women could die due to cuts. Channel 4 News, The Guardian view on UK aid spending, slashed budgets, unethical compromises. The Guardian, thousands will die as a result of UK foreign aid cuts, report suggests, latest from ITV News. ITV News, the countries where UK foreign aid cuts could lead to thousands of deaths. Niger, first UK nationals safely out of the country, foreign minister says. BBC, Niger crisis deepens as European nations evacuate, coup secures support from other junters. Euronews, first group of British nationals evacuated from Niger after military coup. Evening Standard, UK says first group of British nationals have left Niger on French flight. 
Reuters UK, government should help evacuate UK citizens from Niger after coup, says Labour, ITV News. Niger, US announces partial evacuation of embassy. BBC, Niger power blackouts blamed on coup sanctions. BBC, Niger coup leader, military regime rejects sanctions and refuses to give in to threats, WION World DNA. WION, with foreign interests prowling and Wagner mercenaries lurking, ECOWAS has hands full with Niger coup. Daily Maverick, analysis, what caused the coup in Niger? An expert outlines three driving factors. Russia-Ukraine war at a glance, what we know on day 526 of the invasion. The Guardian, Ukraine war, drones target Odessa grain stores near Romania border. BBC, Russian drone strikes hit Ukrainian port key to grain exports. Dorset Echo, Russia-Ukraine war, Russian strikes cause fire at grain store in Odessa after drones shot down over Kyiv, as it happened. The Guardian, latest in Ukraine, Russian attack hits Ismail grain site. Justin Trudeau and wife Sophie separating after 18 years of marriage. The Independent, Canada PM Justin Trudeau and wife Sophie separate. BBC, Justin Trudeau and Sophie Gregoire Trudeau announce separation. The Guardian, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to separate from his wife. Financial Times, Justin Trudeau announces separation from wife after 18 years. Trump to face charges of election conspiracy in court hearing. BBC, Donald Trump indictment, why these charges are most serious ones yet. BBC, could Trump go to prison and other key questions. BBC, Trump's indictment proves he might not be bright, but he is dangerous. The Guardian, the Guardian view on Donald Trump's new indictment, America needs this trial. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.